Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Fella One Boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good Fella Sports TV. We're in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. One time for the one time. We grinding. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video, man. I definitely appreciate everybody for checking in, man. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at TheHellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLA1 Boxing. Get you 18% off their all-natural products. From lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. But um, the promo code and website can be found in the description. Excuse me, a little bit under the weather. But I'm um, going to get this video done, all right? Um, Yeah, how about Nosnaki versus Luis Ortiz next? That make a lot of sense if Ortiz get past, was it Christian Hammer? Um, no knocky I heal, you know, pretty soon. Why not, you know, put it in the Barclays Center, you know, summertime, you know, whatever, you know, undercard they choose to put it on. I would like to see it. Um, no Snowki got really good jaw, really good stamina for, for a guy his side, you know, with his body type. Um, he got some solid power. I don't think his power is as good as it was advertised yesterday versus Gerald Washington, but he a pressure guy. He remind me of a white big baby Miller, uh, that way a lot less, but, um, like I said before, a good fight for Ortiz. You know, Ortiz don't move his hands a lot. Ortiz throws to land. Noznaki throws to overwhelm. So they got the perfect makeups to 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 earn a title shot or be a title eliminator for AJ or Wilder, in my opinion, uh, or Fury possibly. Uh, I think it's a great fight. I think it's a fight that boxing needs. I don't want to see either one face anybody else until they fight each other. It makes sense. You know, if it make dollars, it makes sense. It should make dollars. And uh, it's Noznaki really want to smoke. Ortiz really wants to smoke. He claims he's the most feared dude in the heavyweight division. But they need to go ahead and, uh, you know, do the two-step together, man. Do the ghetto hokey pokey and, and make some yin and some yang uh, type of noise, man. I like both fighters, man. You know, it's Noznaki, I had him in my top five until the Charles Martin fight. And it could have just been a bad a bad night at the office. But he blow, blew out Gerald Washington last night. We did a review video, uh, first video I uploaded um, this morning, okay, but um, as far as, you know, how would, how would I see the fight going, interesting because I'm waiting on Luis Ortiz to get old any day now. And versus Travis Kaufman fight, um, Kaufman exposed Ortiz's weakness. You know, so did Tony Thompson and Malik Scott. They exposed that Ortiz can deal with lateral movement side to side. If you box and move, you stick and move and stay away from his power, um, Ortiz can look ordinary. That's his, that's his problem. So if you move away from, from his, his uh, backhand, I think it's his south part of the right hand, you might have some success. You know what I'm saying? And he got problems with, with foot movers, but obviously Oznaki ain't a foot mover. You know what I'm saying? Oznaki comes straight down the pipe. So, you know, it's either, you know, can Ortiz take his power, Oznaki power, and can Oznaki take Luis Ortiz power, who in better shape? And I'm telling you, this this got an opportunity to mirror some of the good contender classics from the heavyweight division in any era. This is definitely, uh, styles-wise, and what type of fight this fight will produce in my mind, um, deserves to be a head a headliner, but they don't have the names to be a headliner unless they fight in Poland, which won't happen, or they fight in South Florida. You know what I'm saying? Which I've been begging for some boxing promoter to put an all Cuban fight card in South Florida, somewhere maybe at Marlins Park. I think you know a lot of the media would love to go down there and to uh, South Beach and catch that type of fight. But I think a Barclays Center fight. I mean, um, obviously the Fury Water too is too quick of a turnaround. Um, I would say, why not put it on a Jer Hurd, Julian J. Rock card in Brooklyn? And it could be the opening fight, you know what I'm saying? Televised fight, or it could be the third fight, how many fights they want to put on. Because I understand they want to do J. Rock and Hurd, and then they want to do um, Tony Harrison and Jamil Charlo rematch on that card May 11th. And why not have, you know, after that, you know, Noznauki versus Luis Ortiz? You know what I'm saying? That's May. I don't know if it's too quick of a turnaround for Ortiz in March. That may be. So we may be looking at somewhat of a end of the summer, fall type of card. Um, you know, with them fighting, but that's a fight that need to happen. You know, PVC and in boxing in general, I want to do a live stream, not giving us the fights we want. Nobody, it's not one fight this year that I, that's the the number one fight in the division I want to see. And that's my personal opinion. Obviously, it's a uh, uh, subjective. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I didn't want to see Danny and Canelo first, and I didn't want to see Fury and, and Wilder first. I wanted to see Wilder and um and AJ, and I wanted to see Canelo. And Jamal Charlo, that's my personal opinion. Everybody got different flavors uh, for their taste, but we have yet to get, you know, a marquee matchup where the best fighting the best or, or the fight we want to see. And that's what boxing been messing up at. They haven't been giving us the best fight we want to see. They've been giving us the fights 
that you know take here take it and watch it you know especially with you know Mares and uh tank and um you know lara and castanos is a solid fight i'm not gonna lie but uh, other than that crawford kind you know spence mikey none of these are are marquee fights or 50 50 fights that we got to go back and debate on if they debatable fights it's just because some fanboys you know believe the impossible should happen or you know sometimes the boxing the impossible can happen that's the only debate at debate is more about you know us debating who you know you know size and you know power you know it's just size and guys moving up in weight. you know this debating is just debating with foolish fans for the most part you know, we're not debating, you know, ring IQ, you know, hand speed, you know, boxing IQ. And I think in this fight, you might get that. You know, it's not about numbers. It's not about money. It's about, you know, who the baddest, who the, who one of the baddest other heavyweights out there other than Wilder and Joshua Fury. Who Who is that next step up? And I think Nozanaki and uh, Luis Ortiz can take it there. Nozanaki, he come forward. I think he could press Ortiz, some other Ortiz. Ortiz love the counter punch. I can see Ortiz catching. Oh, knows Naki with an uppercut, you know what I'm saying? With a with a straight with a straight uh left hand. Um, you know, I can see Nose Naki coming in, pressing Ortiz, and Ortiz just getting old, working up from the head to the body. If Nozaki can take Ortiz power or smother Ortiz and push Ortiz on the back foot and his activity rate takes over the fight, and I think he slowly and surely wears down Luis Ortiz and possibly stops him around the championship rounds from ten to twelve in my opinion, maybe a little bit earlier than that. But if he can't take Luis Ortiz's power, it could be a short night. I could talk in fifth or sixth round, uh, stopping John Cuts. I think Nosnaki is a tough Polish warrior. But I think, you know, uppercut from Ortiz, a uh, left hook, right hand combination from Ortiz. I think Ortiz walking him into an uppercut, walking him into a straight right. I think you know, it'll be a quick night, you know, uh, fairly early. I think it could be from rounds one to five. It could be very quickly, depending on how how much of a beard Nose Naki guy, so it pretty much go comes down to you Nonaki know, beard and toughness and Ortiz stamina and where he will he be old. So those are the two most likely not uh uh most likely outcomes. I think either knockout either way. I think Ortiz knock him out is early. I think Nose Naki knock him out is his championship rounds later. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like I said, I'm waiting on Ortiz to get old. You know what I'm saying? That's what everybody else waiting on. If No Naki able to show some wear and tear in him and Ortiz barely win. And a lot of dudes gonna feel froggy and want to leap, but I think some sanctioning belt body should make this a title eliminator, especially for one of AJ titles. You know what I'm saying? But they won't do that, man. They can probably make it a title eliminator. They won't make it at all. But it's the best matchup that's gonna be popping off, in my opinion. Uh, if if it is made next year, it's one of the matchups I want to see out of the contenders. It's a good contender. Um, some people say 60, 40, 70, 30 Ortiz. I think this is a, a, a really, really close fight due to Ortiz age. And I want to see what Ortiz look like in his next fight versus Christian Hammer. Um, but yeah, y'all know, I mean, you know, I love to hear people's opinion on this fight. It's kind of a fight that I talk myself or thought myself into a scene. I want to see it real, real bad. Uh, you know, people want to talk about Ortiz every day, how feared he is and people uh, neglect how, you know, he brought this upon himself because he failed the drug test. Okay. I'm a fear dude. He failed the drug test. He popped hot. You know, and, you know, he lost the AJ, you know, thing, man. He should have put down the medication he was taking for the fight. So, really, it should be no sympathy for Luis Ortiz. I don't care what the personal attachment is. He fucked himself. So, I don't really have, I don't feel bad for him because they don't feel bad for black Americans when this shit happened to us. You know, nobody feel bad for us. So, at the end of the day, it, you know, it is what it is. Man, I love to see him get this fight and then get a championship fight. But I fear by the time he get to this point or championship point, he's going to be old and get knocked out. And that's what the game plan is for a lot of these fighters to do, man. But I do like Nozanaki a lot, man, and the style that he brings to the ring. But, yeah, this is my personal opinion on it, man. Everybody just, you know, basically uh, get on YouTube and take up for Ortiz. And I feel it, man. But at the end of the day, he did cheat. But there's a lot of other dudes that did cheat and got away with it for the most part. But at the end of the day, man, I'm just tired of everybody talking about the same shit every day, man. I might start just cutting motherfuckers off that talk about the same shit every day, every day. It's a lot going on in the boxing world. You know, but y'all know how it is. You know, a lot of you guys want to hear that shit. You ain't going to hear that shit from me no more. I'm going to continue to mix up the topics and mix up what I do. And if I don't like shit else, I'll just go on to an another topic or another sport. But y'all know what it is. Good fella Sports TV. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Don't forget we on Facebook, Twitter. Also, you can reach out to the email if you got a business question, quiet response ship. Don't forget you also can uh, do the Q&A. Just send me a video request a question with a question or video request in the email subject line. And I'll answer a little bit under the weather today. Hopefully, I can get to it later tonight. In addition to that, don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze at thehellblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one box and get you 18% off. Salute to the brother Rasheed for hooking me up with that uh, setup, man. They got all natural products from lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs. 
the whole nine. Use the promo code Goodfellow One Boxing, eighteen percent off. And at least go over there, the website in the description, and check out the array of natural products they got. Guarantee you probably gonna see something that you want to cop for a really good price. Plus the eighteen percent you get off of my promo code. Uh, blessings to everybody out there. It's my last video for quite some time. About to get some rest and rest up. Salute to everybody out there that support us. Share the videos. You want to make a donation to the channel? That links there as well too. We gone.